how are you doing team nokia power user here and we welcome you all to a very interesting video in this video not only we will demo the major features and changes that android pi brings to nokia 8 we will also share our experience so far of using android pi on nokia 8 so uh, hmd missed the schedule of releasing android pi to nokia 8 and now they have chosen the beta channel to release the first beta build of android pi to nokia 8 which shows that there may have been some issues uh, and bugs which they wanted to fix and they needed help of uh, you know nokia 8 owners in that so if you are a nokia 8 owner you can uh, you know just go to our tutorial on nokia browser and you can see how to update uh, to nokia uh, update your nokia 8 to the android pi beta so now uh, coming to the because we got many questions from many users who have asked us about how uh, you know whether there is any data loss while upgrading to android pi beta and there is one more uh, very important question which says that if it's uh, if it is their daily driver how how it's going to cope with this android pi beta so we will quickly answer those two questions so first uh, um, and answer the first question is there is no data loss you can see this is also a daily driver nokia device and it has upgraded to android pi beta and there is no data loss it is very smooth actually this uh, upgrade has been very very smooth so now we are up, i mean this device is updated to android pi now coming to the uh, coming to the answer to the second question so so far this build has been very stable so uh, we have not seen any issues of any kind which may be said to be deal breaker so everything works smoothly so far whatever like general daily uh, you know daily task that you may have been doing on your device will be as good as so pretty much i mean it's as fast as it was with uh, oreo 8.1 so uh, i mean if you ask us we will recommend that you can actually go ahead and upgrade to android pi beta because uh, you know i mean major issue wise we have not encountered any so there are like no uh, you may have seen that there are no lags no freezes no restarts it's all working fine now coming to the major features and changes part so basically android pi brings uh, lots of ui changes uh, lots of different kind of you know usability changes etc with itself so few things are actually different on nokia 8 than on other devices so here i have a nokia 7.1 so you will quickly notice the changes since uh, Nokia 8 comes with capacitive uh, hardware buttons and uh, Nokia 7.1 and uh, like other devices like Nokia uh, 7.1 and then 6.1, 6.1 plus these all have on screen navigation buttons. So there you will see this gesture navigation enabled which is actually missing on uh, Nokia 8. So, I mean, when Yoho uh, HMD CPU has posted the tweet, he it somehow in that video we saw that it had gesture navigation along with these buttons. But when we go to the um, gestures here, we don't see it there. So, you don't see that, uh, you know, gesture option, which you would be really available. So, only here you see the swipe up on home button on Nokia 7.1. This option is missing so you cannot enable the gesture navigation now with this uh, hardware buttons many may ask this question why the gesture navigation is required but then that is uh, you know gesture navigation is important part of android pi experience because it's a new kind of navigation it's not there so anyways maybe with next beta build uh, hmd may like to you know enable it okay now coming to the second very important gen that you will see from uh, 7.1 so you are forced to see this a search bar here but there is no such search bar on nokia 8 which may be a good news <laughs> because that is how uh, i mean many people like to remove this search bar and there is no option to remove it but here on nokia 8 you don't see it that is great so one thing is missing but other thing which is missing is good you know now uh, coming to other changes what that android pi brings so you will notice that uh, we go to the notification center there are lots of changes actually and again here there is a change which is uh, different from other you know uh, other nokia devices that already got android so here you see uh, you know that uh, day day and time on top of this uh, you know brightness bar but in case of other devices 
like Nokia 7.1, 6.1, 6.1 plus and even uh, you know Nokia 8.1 I have not seen this date and time here on top of that bar brightness bar but here it is in case of Nokia 8 so here like I just uh, showed you three differences from other uh, you know Nokia devices which are running Android Pi and Nokia 8 now let us focus on the major features and changes so as I said while there is no gesture navigation multitasking has changed completely so if I go to the multitasking now you will see that the card interface is totally changed now it is in uh, you know more like what you will see on iOS um, uh, and on even the Windows phone so this card interface now it's like this you cannot swipe left or right to uh, you know kind of close it you will have to swipe up then you would be able to close it and you will go swipe left and right for the navigation of the cards now if you want to do a split screen what you need to do is to tap on the top of this card enter the split screen and then choose another one so now you can see how this split screen uh, multitasking has also changed how you will how it's different to enable it actually so the multitasking has changed uh, you know closing apps has changed and then the uh, you know option of entering the split screen has changed this is how it works So this is more like navigation since there is no gesture navigation so this is what has changed in terms of you know multitasking and navigation now if you go to the notification center you see everything all the icons have changed they have new you know paint job this brightness bar has changed as well uh, its behavior has also changed there is something called adaptive brightness now uh, you know the auto brightness is replaced by adaptive brightness more like with the surrounding so it's the same functionality but the name has changed anyways and all the icons of every action you know quick action button has a new look which is different now if you go to edit you will see even other items or other icons have uh, now new look if we go to settings we'll uh, see again the same thing you know lots of changes all the icons have new look when you go inside you will see lots of you know changes from uh, the earlier what you saw on audio 8.1 okay now if here we wanted to show you one thing quickly so on android audio 8.1 if you change the wallpaper the theme changes so currently you see that the theme is light and if i change the wallpaper the theme will change we'll quickly see it and i will also talk about a new option of that so now I have changed the wallpaper with that the theme had changed to dark now not only this can be controlled with a new option which has been provided so if you go to display you go to the device theme and you see that you can set it as light you can set it as dark you can set it automatically based on wallpaper so this is a new option which has been provided to provide you more control over what theme you want for your device so these are like more the UI changes, uh, you know, the UI changes and how the, uh, you know, it looks have been changed, appearance has changed. So which is more of visible changes with Android Pi. Now talking about uh, different changes, like uh, now the functional ones. So functional ones, the first thing that we wanted to show it to you is the adaptive battery. But uh, what we see here that still this battery uh, option has been kept as battery manager. So it should have been the adaptive battery which is the new option of uh, you know android pi which is like one of the major features which is not available surprisingly but here i can see that this option has arrived which shows that the, all the apps are running fine normally or i mean any app is eating battery but apart from that the adaptive battery is missing i think that with next beta build it will be available we talked about the adaptive brightness and you can see the adaptive brightness here now coming to one more uh, you know kind of like uh, ui related or visible changes you see this auto rotate so if i put it as portrait and let's see if i enter any of the app so i entered here if i now move this uh, device to the uh, landscape orientation okay it's a bit surprising that I'm not able to see that option here 
Actually, on uh, other uh, devices running Android Pie, it shows us an option of, you know, uh, kind of like uh, enabling that uh, auto rotation for a short period, you know, which is not here, which is like I said is a bit surprising. So maybe that option is not available on Nokia 8 because we have seen that it, it, the Android Pie for Nokia 8 is a bit different. Okay, now coming to other major features. So uh, if you go to the power button and long press it, you will see that now you have a new way to get a screenshot. I'll get this screenshot now. And when you capture a screenshot, you are now offered more options like edit. So you can edit this screenshot by using new filters or you can just choose all the options like light color and pop yourself. You can do more, you can do rotation, etc. And then you can send this uh, screenshot, share it quickly. So these all options are available. Now there is uh, even more. So if you now go to the volume uh, rocker, so you will see only of one option compared to the three options which used to uh, be available on Oreo. There is only one option that is available, but if you go to settings, you will see all the options here now. So again, that uh, volume option has changed. Now, whether it has changed for good or bad, I cannot comment, but I uh, personally would have liked the, uh, you know, all three volume options appearing here, but now I can get one and further I have to do this. Okay, now coming to uh, even uh, one very important, uh, you know, uh, setting or like very important change that I obviously like to love to highlight is that now if you you know earlier uh, while you know uh, going through a text when you enter a text in somewhere you know while doing something like search or while doing texting you were if you search there you can just move it like this but now if you try to move through this uh, any of the you know uh, any of the text that you have entered you will see this zoomed in uh, option so like uh, it was earlier present i mean it was present on ios already but here now you have entered the text in the google search and if you navigate through it you will see this kind of like the zoomed in uh, you know representation of that text which makes it much easy to you know navigate through what you have written here so i can write more that and then when i navigate it shows me the zoomed in picture and i would be able to do it easily so this is important you know this is like a change in usability and really like it okay now uh, while coming to a very important feature which is called digital well-being and which we have demoed many times on other nokia smartphones running android pi so the digital well-being is not available here by default and even when we tried to you know install it through an apk it did not work so i don't know why it did not work because for other devices other nokia android smartphones with android pi it worked fine and we were able to get it here but it did not work for us so maybe um, that will be enabled later because that's why we are not able to show or demo that digital well-being here but only we would like to mention that digital well-being is a feature which allows you to you know uh, get more control on your smartphone you said you understand that where you devote your time or where i mean you waste your time or use your time uh, while uh, you know playing with what part of smartphone what kind of action you do more what kind of function you use more on the smartphone and you can actually manage it it's uh you know lots of enhancement also in do not disturb feature there so we would we could have loved to show that but since it's not available through even APK installation we would like to recommend you to go to uh, the videos of other smartphones like Nokia 6.1 plus, Nokia 6.1, 7 plus, etc. And you can notice how digital volume works. Now, apart from that, there are more features. So I would quickly, uh, you know, they're like, uh, which you called suggested apps. So some say suggested apps appear here. So that happens after you have started using Android Pi for some time. So that is like a machine intelligence kind of feature. And also there are like something called apps action. So let's say, if I go here and I enter name of any app, so there can be like a app action kind of, uh, you know, square, uh, you know, banner here, which can help me quickly doing that. So these features are not available here. And these are like, uh, maybe they, they come later with uh, more builds and further uh, Android Pi updates. But for now, these features are not available. So in a, like a, in a nutshell, these are all the major features and changes that Android Pi brings for your device. Uh, for Nokia 8 and we obviously talked about uh, 
uh, I think mostly all of those uh, major features and changes if anything is left you can actually refer to the you know Android features and changes list on Nokia power user you will come to know all the changes and as we told you there are some difference between uh, the you know Nokia 8 Android Pie and the Android Pie on other devices a bit on screen button so we have quickly told you the differences and we also demoed the major features and changes of Android Pie on Nokia 8 few are not available they may come later so now uh, talking about again we shared our experience of how we have found Android Pie on Nokia 8 we also told you that there is no data loss while, uh, data loss while upgrading coming to battery life so uh, we started using Android Pie on Nokia 8 since uh, like yesterday and the battery life has been okay I mean it's not deteriorating too fast not discharging too fast it's as good as it was with Oreo 8.1 we will share more if we find any difference uh, like uh, during further uses so with that we come to end of this video hope you have liked this video stay tuned for more on Nokia Parser YouTube channel and NokiaParser.com thanks for watching